Hello dear friends, welcome to Maths. Hope you all are fine. So let's start our today's class. Today our topic is multiplication word problems. And you may say it's story problems or statement sum also. So let's see what are we going to learn today. At first let's review once again. What are word problems? And then we will learn how to solve a multiplication word problem. But before the start, I want to tell you something that if you are watching me on YouTube, then uh, like my video lecture and subscribe our channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of the interesting thing that uh, we are doing in our channel. And if you are watching me on Facebook, then like and follow our page. Okay. So let's start. So at first, what are what problems? When questions of mathematics are presented in the form of a story, we call them word problems. And inside the story, there are numbers which we need to use to solve the problem. So let's see what is our today's story or our word problem. This is our today's story. So let's read the word problem. It was day 17 of Kurukshetra war. It was the day of the biggest fight ever, the clash between Karna and Arjuna. Arjuna asked Lord Krishna for guidance and Lord Krishna told Arjuna to take 108 arrows in each quiver. Arjuna had 7 quivers. How many arrows did Arjuna take to war that day? Okay, so... Let's uh, solve it. But times in our uh, word problem, there are lots of numbers, many numbers. But all the numbers are not needed to solve the word problem. Uh, now I will show you that uh, in this word problem, you can see that there are three numbers, 17, 108 and 7. But the first number that is 17, it was just a day. It was day 17 of Kurukshetra war. So, this uh, 17 is not needed. Uh, solve this word problem. So, let us omit 17. And the other two numbers that is 108. It is 108 arrows. And uh, Ar Arjuna had 7 quivers. So, we have the two numbers 108 and 7. So, let us solve it with these two numbers. See the first step and uh, the first step is we write the places and you can see that there, uh, there are two numbers and one, e one number is three digit number. So, let us uh, write the places and O for ones, T for tens and H for hundreds. So, now let us see the step number two. So, what is step number two? Now write the statements with the numbers. So uh, let us see how to write the statements. Easy way to write statements is go to the numbers and frame sentences from the question. This only and that we learnt in our previous lecture in the what problem class of addition and subtraction. So let and uh, I told you now always take the larger number first. So, here which number is larger here is 108 that means 108. So, we will take 108 first. But what is 108? It is number of arrows in each quiver. So, what will be the statement? Number of arrows in each quiver. Now, let us write the number and we start from the ones place. So, let us write it will come here. After that, 0 will come at tens place and then 1, 1 will come at hundreds place. Okay. Now, let us take the next number that is the small number. It is 7. But what is 7? Arjuna had 7 quivers. So, what will be the statement? That number of quivers Arjuna had. Okay. Now, let us write the number 7. And it is a single digit number. So, we will write at 1's place. Okay. So, now let us see the 
step number 3 the solution part how many arrows did arjuna take to work that day this we will have to find out so what will be the statement is very easy number of arrows arjuna took to work okay but how how will we find out this out we know that we have two datas that arjuna had seven quivers and each quiver has the 108 arrows so what to do now we have to add 108 seven times but uh, what do you think it takes more time now so what to do now we have to multiply because multiplication is nothing but repeated addition so we have to multiply 108 by 7 so let's multiply and we start from we will start from ones place so let, let's multiply it 7 into 8 and uh, 7 into 8 is 56 so here comes 6 and 5 will be the carry now let's multiply the 7 into 0 and we get 0 and then we have to add the carry now so 0 plus 5 here comes 5 after that we will multiply 7 by 1 and we get 7. Okay. So, we solve the multiplication. Now, the next uh, step that is the step number 4 is the answer. The answer is Arjuna took 756 arrows to war that day. Okay. So, now uh, before the end of our today's class, let's see once again. What did we learn today? We learn today what are what problems and how to write the statements in what problem and steps of solving multiplication what problem and then uh, we found out that how many arrows Arjuna took to Kurukshetra war. Okay. So, do practice regularly because practice makes you the master. And for practice, you can visit our website, Welcome to Math, and uh, take brain test for regular practice, okay? And you're glad to know one thing, that we have already started our riddle series, that is Children's Day Special Riddle Series. So, in our Welcome to Math Facebook group. So, join immediately in our group to participate in this activity, that is Children's Day Special Activity. This is for yours, okay? So, um, come and uh, join our group and enjoy the riddle, enjoy the maths and uh, meet you again in our next class with a new topic. Till then, take care and bye-bye.